Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. It's Monday. Y el cuerpo lo sabe. So let's make breakfast. It's a rainy day in LA today. Huevitos. Buenos días, guapo. Hydration before dehydration. Wow, ya se para solo ese niño bello. Así. Jenny likes his egg scramble, so. Hágase la luz. Buenos días. Hey, don't scare me. Buenos días, ¿nos vemos juntos o qué? ¿Nos ves aquí? ¿Nos vemos juntos o qué? Technically, we did. <laughs> <laughs> <Buenos días. laughs> Danny's coffee. Hola, papi. Uh, uh. Ah, muchas gracias. Que Dios te bendiga, hermana. <laughs> Okay guys, we just finished breakfast, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup really quick. I like to try to get ready every day, at least a little bit, so that I feel a little bit more put together. My mom makeup literally consists of sunscreen, BB cream, corrector, and a little bit of blush. Like, oh, and mascara, of course. But we're not doing too much because today we're gonna be getting our hands dirty. As you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be transforming SJ's room finally. Every day, I literally am shook at the fact that my baby is getting bigger and bigger. Gracias a Dios. I feel like right now it's the perfect time to kind of transition him into his toddler bed. I know, I'm like jumping ahead a little bit, but the reason for that is because we kind of skipped over the crib. Like he never really used it to begin with. And I feel like now it's a good time to kind of set up his floor bed. So basically like a toddler bed. I'll show it to you guys right now when we like build it and stuff, but it's a floor bed that has like a little gate so that he can get in and out of it however he wants. Eventually, instead of getting him out of our room, we're gonna get out of his room. So that way he feels a little bit less of like that shift of like, oh my God, my parents are kicking me out of the room. I honestly am shook at how fast this transformation came and I'm like, oh my God, like how are we already like building his floor bed? Like how is he? Like it's just, it goes by so fast. Almost done. Add a little bit of lip gloss. Now let's do my hair. This has been my favorite hack of all time. Okay, there's one side. Let us flip it over. Wow. Okay, volume. For the last step before we're ready. I'm gonna be leaving my sweats on because I already changed these from last night. I'm just gonna be putting on my Skims t-shirt, which is honestly so comfortable. It's currently raining outside and I don't wanna be in any tight clothing. I just wanna be comfortable. I have to tell you, as you guys know, I've been nursing since my baby was born, obviously eight months ago. And I just feel like I've been struggling a lot with like feeling sexy within that part of my life. Uh, and I will tell you, like nursing bras don't help at all. Like I, whenever I'm wearing a nursing bra, I just feel like, I don't know, me siento como muy señora, you know? Like I just feel older and I just feel like just a mom, if you will. I decided to try out the Skims Fits Everybody collection for their bralettes and I, I'm so pleased to inform you guys that they are wonderful nursing bras, even though that's not what they're meant for. I've personally been obsessed with their crossover bralette because this is what it looks like. Look, I'll put it over my t-shirt so I can kind of show you. First of all, the material is super stretchy and it just like folds to your body and it's super supportive even though you're not having any wires or anything like that. So I personally love that because wires and bras right now, especially with breastfeeding, it's just not something I can do. Obviously, I'm wearing a t-shirt under, but just imagine I'm not. Uh, if I was gonna nurse, I love the crossover bralette because all I have to do is literally just pull it to the side and it's so stretchy and so form-fitting that I can nurse super comfortably and I don't feel like I have to be wearing a nursing bra. Even though these were not meant to be nursing bras, I feel sexy, I feel like myself, I just feel put together. And nursing bras tend to be like bulky, big, and they tend to be like not very flattering with whatever clothing you're wearing. I ordered the 
Picasso or Braille in the color clay, which is the one that you guys are seeing right here. And I wanted to try different styles, which is the one you saw me wear earlier. This is the Scoop Braille, which is made from the same material. This is the color Onyx, just in case you guys are wondering. And it's also super comfortable. Obviously, I'm not going to show you right now, but it is very comfortable to just pull down and nurse if you are currently a nursing mom. And even if you're not, the support that I'm getting from these bras is super, super, super comfortable. So I decided to get it in the color Onyx, which is the one you're seeing me on. And I also got it in the color clay. I'm super happy that I finally found a bra that I can feel super comfortable, super sexy in. And even though it wasn't meant to be a breastfeeding bra, I kind of found my way around it. And I love the fact that I still get to feel like a woman, even though I'm a breastfeeding mom. I am here to tell you guys to believe the hype. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. Now I'm really wondering like why it took me so long to try out scams, but I will never go back. If you guys would like to try out scams, all you have to do is click the link in the description. The Fits Everybody Collect is a perfect introduction to anyone and everyone who's wanting to try out scams especially because they range from sizes extra extra small to 4x so there is something for everybody after you place your order I would really appreciate it if you guys let them know that I sent you all you have to do is select YouTube on the drop down menu and select my channel from all the options there ready to transform the baby's room so we have a lot of heavy lifting like I don't know how many times we've cleaned that room how many times have we cleaned that room here on YouTube like no matter what happens we always end up putting stuff in that room but not anymore I don't even know where we're gonna put that stuff because the time is here where we're actually gonna be using the room so let me just show you what we're dealing with right now and let me show you the boxes because we also need to ask Denny to build the bed with us for us which he doesn't really love building things but he's the man of the house so he's gonna kind of have to i'm just kidding but yeah let's ask him if he can build a bed for us i'm so excited to finally have this room be done in the house it's gonna be such a good time let's go hello what's up okay the baby just fell asleep we have to ask you for a favor all right can you build his bed ah <laughs> Please. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go outside real quick, do some stuff. She's like, oh no, no, come, we need you, we need you. Yes, please. <laughs> Look, let me show you. Look, let me show you guys. Era plan con maña, ya saben. Okay, for the hundredth time, here's the room that I've cleaned. Oh my god. A hundred times. But, okay, let me show you. This is what Denny needs to build. This is the bed. It's a full floor bed with fans and door natural. So, baby, you need me to clear this out before you build that, right? Yeah, but I think most of the stuff in here is mine. <laughs> you think? This is my clothes. Yeah, well, our, my dirty clothes hamper is there too. We're gonna have to find a new place to put them. No, well, I can put it in my closet. It's just. Like the maletas, they can go in the garage, yeah. like in the closet that we built. Yeah. So our maletas, because these are empty. Um, this is the hamper we've been using for the dirty towels. But we're either going to keep that hamper or this hamper. Here we have some new diapers. And here we have like his baby, baby clothes. Oh my gosh. Put that away in the back too. Yeah, we could put it away in the back. So I think right now the first step is to start taking everything out. That's either going to go in the garage okay. or that's not going to go in here here and then oh we okay so this is the base for our bed we turned our bed into like a floor bed but i think we're gonna put the base back on so we can have like a normal looking bed in our room since this is you don't know where you put the screws really <laughs> yeah what was your plan no that's for that mueble he literally just was like, screw it, screw it. Ah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get that out of here. So the first step is just clearing the room out. Okay, so my first step is I'm gonna, we're gonna, we are gonna, we're gonna start clearing everything out. I, I'm probably gonna wash clothes right now, so we just got me hamper. So let's start by taking these things out. <laughs> let's, let's get it started, you guys. <laughs> encontré <risa> ya que se despierte santiago pues voy a armar la cama otra vez y ojalá ya tenga su camita armada so. Bien, algo bien, ok. 
Okay, let's finish this right here. Hola, que esté fácil de armar porque en veces vienen las cosas y vienen bien. They're very difficult to build sometimes, you know. Es tu cuarto. Estamos en tu cuarto, pa. El cuarto de Santiago. El cuarto de Santiago. Pariente de papá. Sí, porque el mío no. Yeah. Ok, ya, yeah, plebitos. Vamos a la sala para que papá termine. Ok, so now. Vamos, te llevamos right. estos juguetes. Let's see. It's pretty straightforward, one box. Okay. okay, there we go. Oh. oh my gosh. Ten hours later. ¿Cuánto te tomó? Ten hours. Eh, llevas como varias horas, ¿no? But then you, I stopped when you woke up. Mm, you guys, this, okay, so we got a full bed thinking I thought it was smaller. But it's looking really big in this room, look. It's taking like the whole room now. We're gonna, we're probably gonna take this mueble out, and and we still need to take out. That. Vamos a sacar las demás cosas para que tengas tu cama. Ay, ay. Honestly, honest, I think I think of, of twin. Yeah. Like the twin bed. If I'm not mistaken, <gasps> it could have fit from the wall to the closet. Oh yeah. I just didn't want to get a twin because twins so tiny and we're big, you know. Ooh, papi chulo. We're gonna test it out. Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, just kidding. Me con confianza. Pues sí, no. I mean, it has a 250 body weight limit. Oh. It's definitely softer than our bed. Nice. Oh. oh my god. So comfy. Yeah. No, 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 no. 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 Yeah, that's my bed. No, fucking what are you? What the heck? Dile no. He wants to come home. Yeah. Yeah. Y la chona se mueve. Haremos que le toquen. Eh, eh. This is very hey. comfy. Guys, I'm gonna give you guys a finished tour of the baby's room. So let's go in. Wow. It looks so good. So right when you walk in, you have the dresser with his baby picture right there <laughs> and then these are two pictures that i had actually gotten for him right like before I think, before you were born yes so this one says you are fearfully and wonderfully made and this one says yes puppy you are a child of god and i just love them but look here is the main piece of today's video Yes, pa. Ya le estrenó. Ya le estrenó, yes, which is this bed right here. And then the rest of the room, we just have the this girl right here because this is where we play the ocean sounds for him. Um, I feel like we still need a little bit of things to, yeah. to be added so it's not too empty. Yeah. But for right now, the yeah. most part, the, the essentials is the, just the bed. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I feel like it's also good that we don't have a lot of things in here because as he gets older, he's going to learn how to crawl out of his bed. Literally, probably next week like he's already trying to crawl out of it and so it's good that we don't have a lot of things like for him to grab and stuff maybe we can put some toys in here so he can entertain himself yeah. and we so, for sure yeah we for sure need to secure that yeah. mueble because yeah he's a crawling boy all over the place but i love the way it looks that was gonna be my questions. Uh -huh. No iba a quedar el mueble para ya asegurarlo, you know? Sí, ya va a quedar ahí. Okay, so then I go buy the stuff. Para asegurar ese mueble. Just lock it in. Yep. Know? Yeah, but it looks so good, and I feel like he has 
he's so cute. We have his space and it looks so comfy and cozy in here. And now this room's actually being used. Yes, it's actually being used for what it was meant to be for. That's gonna be it for today's video. I love it here. Yes, let me know what you guys have in your baby's room so you feel like it's kind of essential that it could add. I was thinking the diaper genie, but I'll put... Oh yeah, actually, yeah, we can put the diaper genie in here because yeah. we do use that every morning. Okay. okay. So, that's gonna be it from us. Las quiero mucho, mucho, mucho. Que Dios me las bendiga. Let me know what else we should put in the room. Quiero mucho respeto de más. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye!